All right, it's time to catch up. These are my pickups for the week of July 15th, 2018. This includes stuff that I picked up while I was away and because of the, the date where it landed, when I landed, <laughs> it just I just decided to go an extra week. So it might actually be a little bit difficult to cram all this in. So on my, on my vacation, went to the flea markets and <laughs> man, it was so disappointing. I think it maybe maybe had to do with the day I went on to the flea markets. Wow, oh, it's a repress stuff. It was super hot. There weren't a lot of tables out there. Only the the really dedicated sellers. Nobody was budging on prices. This is uh, oh, that, you know, because there weren't any many, many games out there. I said, well, maybe I can get something I actually really want. And so I tried to get this Mega Man 4. That guy was one at $30. Would you be able to do any better on this one? Mega Man 4? Yeah, let me just see. Could do like 27. Yeah. Every channel's gonna say this. You know, everybody, every person on every channel is gonna say this. They're not going to the flea markets to pay eBay prices. So, but it's true, and it's frustrating every time you see it. Beyond video games, I did see a lot of Hess stuff. Which, maybe because there weren't as many pop figures, I found one booth selling pop figures, that I noticed all this Hess stuff. And it just was surprising. Everybody was selling Hess trucks, cars, uh, race cars, helicopters. I mean, I don't know if Hess still does it. There were like those Christmas time commercials where they released these special edition Hess trucks. My brother had like a, a piggy bank. Uh, I think he had two um, trucks. But yeah, either way, they were everywhere. And I went to multiple flea markets, and the story was the same. So, but I did, I, you know, the first flea market I went to, I did pick up one game. That was I bought Izzy. Actually, it's complete. Izzy's not a really expensive game. It's like a three-dollar game. Maybe because it's on Super Nintendo, people are going to try to charge you like eight or something stupid like that. It's like a game that nobody wants, but I've been looking for. <laughs> I mean, I just want the game. But it's not. I don't really care about the box. That's the thing. I didn't know you probably want more because I. I mean, the thing is, I'd probably pay five for Izzy. Um, I mean, would you do five? Would you go six? Just, just because it's in the box. Box, right? Like, yeah. I'll I was like, six. I'm not gonna pay ten bucks for this. I really just want the card for five. He actually didn't seem like he was a regular seller, so I figured I could talk to him a little bit on the, like a normal person would. I said, you know that we know this is not a very expensive game. Would you take five for it? I'm only interested in the card. And uh, the guy's like, eh, could you give me six? Because it has all the box and everything. So I was like, yeah, I can do that. I, I played it when I came back here. The game slows down. I think it's more more important than in a shooter when there's slow down a shooter. That to me is actually helpful. But in a, in a platform, when you're actually trying to get that, that bullseye to land on that one particular spot in the middle of a, a sea of, of, uh, of death, speaking of crappy physics, you bounce off walls in this game. If you jump into a wall, it'll bounce you back. So I want to press into the wall and slide down it. You change into things like Kirby. It's like they're very specific. Like, like oh, you need this power up to get past this one part. It, there's not a lot of creativity, plus they're limited. So you run out. Yeah, and when you when you bump your head, you can hurt yourself. It, it just, I hate this game. The Chinese are selling. Are you buying? Same flea market, I picked up this guy. I saw Playmates on the foot there. I thought he was like some, some weird Ninja Turtles guy. I have no clue who this guy is. What I neglected to look at at the time was this other foot that said Troma. I don't know if you can read that. And I was like, okay, this is obviously like Toxic Crusader, but um, but I only realized that after I bought him, which he was only a buck. I didn't know how I didn't know how many lines Playmates made, but I, they made the Earthworm Jim line, I think, as well. But they would do things like if you look at uh, the mold here, even though they're, they're they're not colored in, you can see like a, a band aid there or um, exposed bone here. There's like muscle ripping through the shirt, you know, you would see like rats. The guy who in the Ninja Turtles is very much like this uh, in terms of like the mold having weird spots and everything is uh, mm -hmm. General Trag, the rock, 
the guy who, who led around the foot soldiers in, in Dimension X. So I convinced my family to take me to two other flea markets, which are situated right by each, each other. On a different day, even the first flea market had zero games. <laughs> Uh, I think there was one lady who's had like a few PS2 games, but the other flea market I did manage to find some stuff other than the, the they had these giant hornets. They were the size of this guy, just long, maybe that long, but the stinger was insane. Like I think, I think you could actually, if these things punctured a vein, you could bleed out. They didn't bother you. I think they were so used to humans being around. There were tons though. Hello. I did find one seller. Her father is like a dedicated video game seller, and he was selling at the same flea market. And she was, had some video games set up on, a, on, a, on, a, on an op opposite end. I picked up Pokemon Silver here. We're asking 15 for the Pokemon. Would you do 20 for both? 10 of maybe 10 off uh, for 10 for each, basically. Let me just ask my dad. I want to go ahead and tell you something. This is a legit cart. You have to be very careful when buying. Pokemon DS's and GBA games. She was trying to call her dad. I realized like, hey, you know, if she got him on the phone and she maybe read out the names that maybe he would go like, hey, don't sell that for 15. I'll, I'll get one of them then, I guess. If it's... Yeah, it's Okay, I'll get one of them then. Other dealer, these people were having a garage sale at the flea market. You could tell. They were just getting rid of all their stuff that was in the basement. There I go, I got the yeah. Then I could this one's the only one that's labeled. Are they all three dollars? Uh, two bucks, really. Okay, two bucks. I picked up Motorstorm Pacific Rift, but it's sealed. They would even take two dollars. So I was like, okay, I'll give you two bucks for something that's labeled three. Funny thing is, as we're leaving our neighborhood, we see this house setting up for a garage sale. I said, let me stop by, see if they have any video game stuff. We saw all the signs, they didn't even have time posted on their sign. But it was maybe seven something or before seven, I don't remember, but they had stuff in their driveway. But I went into their driveway, nobody was around. I saw their garage door was open and I was like, can I just look in their garage and maybe if I find something, you know, knock on the door. I don't know, I just, I should have gotten the attention of somebody because on the way back, they're all set up, you know, they're sitting outside. And of course, I, I stroll off into this thing. I didn't even ask for video games. There was a box. Inside this box, there were some third-party N64 controllers, a transfer pack, I think there was a rumble pack in there. And I said, hey, do you have any more stuff any like this? Video any video game, game stuff? stuff? What's that? Do you have any other like video game stuff? No, nah, I sold them all. That's a big box of them. Okay. Not even, the I, yeah, because I saw like you had some older stuff here and I, yeah. I mean, I play like older Nintendo and Sega and Game oh, yeah. Boy kind of stuff. Yeah. That yeah, was the stuff was, you had? Yeah. All this old Nintendo, Game Boy, Sega, whatever you, you know, boggles my mind what was in this box. I wanted to know. It was, and it was in my own neighborhood. I could have walked there in, in you know, five minutes or something. I don't know. It, it wasn't that far. Let's just get on to the garage sales that happened this week because those those were a little bit more impressive. Those were more impressive. <laughs> okay, I lied. I completely forgot about uh, the stuff I ordered at Goodwill. I don't even remember what I paid for this. It was cheap because. Um, yeah, so in this lot, I saw Duke Nukem forever, <laughs> and everybody knows, everybody knows, oh, that's such a bad game, but I grew up with the DOS games, and I, I really enjoyed those, enjoyed the Duke Nukem 3D as well, so whether or not this is a bad game uh, is a different story, you know, bad in terms of quality, in terms of, is it fun? It's over the base, the controversy is basically over like the 80s, 90s, uh, machismo kind of attitude of uh, it's like Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. Is that still, is that still, uh, is that still cool? Duke Nome is like a, a, like a $2, $3 game, but I can't find it for 2 or $3. So we got a, a Lion King Super Nintendo, we got a, a Duke Nukem Advance for GBA, a new Yoshi's Island, and two Yoshi Island carts for GBA. So all that can be can be sold for a game that's worth two bucks. <laughs> you should know about vacation holds. If you're an adult, <laughs> you go on a trip, you put your mail on vacation hold. 
So then, so then you, you get your mail delivered to you when you come back. Some sales, when you read their advertisements, get really excited. You know, in this ad, they said stuff about vintage audio equipment or something like that. Star Wars toys. So I was thinking, like, maybe they might have, you know, Sega, Nintendo, Game Boy, PlayStation. They brought out a box that had PS1, PS3 stuff in it. Funny, because, you know, I picked up this game here, and this used to be a crazy expensive game. Remember that? This, the black label was, well, not crazy, but in terms of, like, a game that's used, it used to be, like, a $50 game. Also picked up Ghost in the Shell, Metal Gear Solid, the Legacy Collection, the God of War Saga, Final Fantasy Anthology, finally found Metal Gear Rising. I also picked up this Star Wars Quiz Wiz. I've seen a couple of these Quiz Wiz around. You go flip through this book and it asks you questions like, who watches the Imperial traffic controller that talks to Han on his way to the moon of Endor? What does Lando insist upon while the rebel forces prepare to intrigue? This is six. Okay. I I seriously don't know. It's it, it, obviously there's like people yelling the answer. What was Vader's personal flagship? This isn't like casual watchers. You have to you have to like you have to know stuff. Here, let's pick up six ninety. Who was Java's servant with two skull appendages? I think it's Bib Fortuna, the guy with the little snake. Whom does Luke say is the only hope for the Alliance if something happens to him? He implies it. He doesn't say it. But it's Leia. Yeah, it's a thousand questions. What is the last one? According to the Emperor, what makes one powerful? I guess hatred. I mean, because... <laughs> I can't imagine him saying any other things. There was also a Bushido blade there. Uh, I saw this flipped over, and I'm thinking, with these colors, Little Mermaid. But nope, Darkwing Duck, which I'm much more excited about. I'm digging around the tchotchke bins. What do I find? Some old, like, I'm thinking these gotta be from the 70s. Little, little, um, wind up toys. I think he needs a little help. See, he reminds me of the arcade game, Kangaroo, although. Obviously, he's completely different. Oh my goodness. I think he's flips. And I, I try to avoid picking up stuff like this, but it's so... I don't know, I find it, I found these uh, these ones interesting. I also saw this guy. He's not yet a wind-up. I think this is... I haven't tried him out yet, but I think he's supposed to spark. Yeah, look, do you see that? Yeah, look, do you see that? Made by Takara. I, I, I should never dig to these bins. I always find interesting things. This, look at this. It's like some Ninja Turtles skateboard, like mini Ninja, maybe there's like micro machines and say anything about it. I should not have picked this up. Now I'm gonna obsess over it. And uh, obviously there's it's part of a set or something like that. It's gonna make me want the figure or maybe the set. <sighs> I find some empty Game Boy cases, no cartridges. I'm also now officially part of the the G-Force team, it was Trend Masters, they started releasing a bunch of really good Godzilla toys, like really nice detail, not cheap at all, nothing like this guy. <laughs> Got him from like the wire bins in a, in a, in a, I think it was Toys R Us or a Kitty City, one of the two. I think it's official, it says Toho on the bottom. Picked up this Ninja Turtles DVD, don't know why, I actually picked it up because I'd much rather have the Blu-ray of this and the second movie, but I heard the transfer for those is is bad. I bet it's great, but maybe there are better Blu-ray transfers. How about 15 bucks for the whole pack? I didn't even argue the price. Uh, I was like, sure, that sounds good. All right. So at this next sale, you know, I see all this video game related merchandise. I was curious, like, if you had any other, um, like, actual game stuff, I don't we know. Um, we do not have any actual video games. Video games. Oh, yeah, they're very okay. nice. Okay. Yeah, but it looks a little bit more. Not even, like, um... Uh, said I was interested in old stuff. They didn't have any. But what they did have was a shit ton of DVDs at this garage sale. You know, as I'm going through these DVDs, I see Spy vs. Spy for the original Xbox. And I said, well, what about this? Do you have any original Xbox games? I'm interested in those, too. And again, and then Mom here is like, I thought we didn't have any video game stuff out here. So, out here, as in they have stuff inside. Anyways, you know, the kid was like, yeah, this one, it's not even open. This kid was like dumb as a box star. 
he this thing was opened it had it was like in a sandwich bag that was held closed by a piece of tape and I, I was taking out of its bag as he was saying this <laughs> yeah he comes back with this xbox pick out crimson sky digimon world 4 return to castle wolfenstein this one i i'm i don't know i'm probably not gonna play <laughs> i had the first digimon world and it, it really um upset me when you would You'd spend all this time building some badass bone dragon, and then at the end of like 30 days game time, he would just die and, and respawn into a new Digimon. But inside this box, he also had N64 controllers. I said, do you have any N64 stuff? He said, no, we got rid of it. I can't even fit in the frame here. I bought a magazine rack. I thought this would go kind of neat with my Nintendo powers and strategy guides and stuff. And a glue stick. Uh, normally I get these things for free, but this household is very, um, it's very tight. So that's like 19. Would you take maybe 15 just to make it easier? Wait, 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 hold on. Because uh, they said they were 50 cents and that would be 50 cents. So then there'd be, so 19, be $19, right, all together. Okay. But then I was just wondering would you take maybe like 15 just to make it easier? 15 out of 19? Uh, I don't think so. So then I took out some stickers I was going to give to those, to the kids. And, uh, two DVDs. And I said, now can you do 15? He said, oh, um, I could do 17. You wouldn't take, you wouldn't take off $2? Oh, I mean, $2. All right, whatever. But, you know, thankfully his sister was, was staying beside. And I don't know, she seemed very interested in me. And she's like, come on, it's only two bucks. <laughs> to this lunkhead. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I ended up getting that all for 15. I, I'm not going to go through all these. Is, I got a ton of DVDs. Disney DVDs uh, and some other ones like Hook. That's a um, favorite of our generation, but for some reason the older guys don't like it. Anyways, it's out there. Now go get it.